Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this episode, I'm going to show you some clips, a different quarry, and the purpose of the video is for you to easily be able to recognise what we can hunt with an air rifle in the UK. Now one of the most common species, and one that most people enjoy taking part in, is targeting the brown rat. They're abundant, they're great survivors, and around farmyards and places that store feed, there'll be a high percentage of rats, no matter where you are in UK or where you are in the world. We do farmers, landowners, a massive favour by keeping these pests under control. If they weren't controlled, Populations would boom and they transfer disease into human and cattle food chain. Rats are suitable quarry for the air gun. Sub 12 foot pounds, there's plenty of power. As long as you place pellet in the right place, namely in the head and straight into the brain. You get clean, humane dispatches. That brings me on to the brown air. Not a usual quarry for most air gun hunters, although an air rifle is suitably powered at responsible distances. Now you have to be mindful with the brown air and make sure there's sustainable populations in the area that you're in. It's slightly bigger than a rabbit. The skull's probably slightly stronger. But at 30 yards, a sub 12 foot pound air rifle, you can easily achieve clean kills. Now, like I mentioned, if populations are stable and there's plenty in your area in UK, and you have landowner's permission, then feel free to take a few. They make great eating. And the true adversary for any air gunner. The wood pigeon. A very common sight throughout the whole of the UK. And a significant pest species to arable crops, cereal crops. And any crop really of any nature. These birds during winter months will flock up and you could make a thousand per flock. If you can imagine a few hundred or even a thousand of these on a cereal field. Just for one or two hours undisturbed. 
are going to create significant damage. Now these pose a challenging target for air gunner. They rarely keep their heads still. So if they do, you will get opportunity if they do keep their heads still. But you've only got an inch target for your pellet to find its way home. A common shot that I'll take is out on lung. And that's because the body's stiller than the head. The great quarry to target, they're abundant, so you can harvest them sustainably. They're a very nice bird on kitchen table. You can make pies, you can fry off the breasts. Absolutely delicious. So if you have the opportunity, you can target them in many ways. Target them in city trees, target them over water troughs. And they quite easily decoyed into a field. The Jay. What a stunning looking bird. It's one of my favourite birds to encounter whenever I'm out in wilds. Now there's a misconception about them being rare or populations not being big. But they are quite abundant, they're just very elusive. Now a lot of people choose not to shoot them, even though they're legal quarry. And I fully understand that. But where the populations are large, there's no room for sentiment, they're part of the COVID family, and they will predate eggs and chicks. If the population level's right, and you're comfortable, then these are a great species for egg, any air gunner to target. You'll frequent these birds on field margins, woodland margins, hedgerows. And you'll often find them stashing peanuts, acorns, beech mast. And they come quite readily to squirrel feeders that you might got to be in position in woodland. You only get a quick glimpse. And you have to be quick to target. The magpie. What a cunning for. These birds are highly intelligent, very wary of danger. I'll spot the slightest of movement. A great challenge for air gunner and a personal challenge for me. And one of my favourite species to target. I like the challenge that they pose. It's man against beast. You need to outweigh them, you need to outthink them. And it's a big part of the challenge, and it's an exciting challenge as well for any air gunner. And these birds are tough and challenging, but fun to hunt. The Jackdaw, strikingly beautiful bird, piercing blue eyes and a grey hood. Again they part Covid family, they have an intelligence level of probably a three or four year old child. Again they're a challenging quarry, 
that I saw it can rival a bird of prey's. You generally find these birds in pairs or during winter months they'll flock up. You can target them in different areas, around farmyards, around old buildings. If you get your tactics right, you can decoy them pretty well. They'll come to a decoy pattern in a field. And they're suitable quality for 12 foot pound air rifle. One of the most common quarry we'll come across is a wild rabbit. These cause untold damage to crops. For any landowner in the UK, and in certain areas of the UK in recent years, they've struggled with hemorrhagic disease. And you have a constant cycle of myxomatosis travelling through populations. So every couple of years, the numbers might decline naturally through a man-made disease. But if you are lucky enough to so have sustainable populations, wherever you are in UK, the one at larger quarry that we can take with a sub-12 foot-pound air rifle. To achieve clean kills, it's headshots only and at suitable distances. The pheasant. These birds are common throughout UK. They reared intensively by gamekeepers and released for shoots throughout winter months in UK. They come in a lot of varieties. They're from Asia and rainforests and jungles of Asia. They're well suited to our climate. And they're a challenge for any air gunner. Constantly on the move. Work in different areas at land. In small groups generally. Particularly during breeding time. You'll see them all flocked up. But during winter months and when they're in season. They're a great quarry for air gunner. A good byproduct. Is the perfect for table with any at larger quarry that we target? Advice for clean kills is headshots only.
Pheasants can only be taken in season with the landowner's permission and can't be hunted in the UK on a Sunday. The grey squirrel. Introduced to the UK quite a long time ago as ornamental pets for gardens in stately homes and places like that. Obviously they're a rodent. They breed well. They adapt to the conditions extremely well. The population has exploded. They're a challenge for any air gunner. And best way, and you'll have seen me target like this before, is using feed stations in woodlands. If you fancy more of a challenge, free hunting's the way to go. Done some camo. Get yourself skulking through woods, stalking from tree to tree, scanning to canopy and treetops. They provide you an excellent challenge. Are you stealth? and marksmanship. The rook, one of the larger birds in the COVID family, very similar to the crow. As you look at the beak and the markings and the grey area, particularly around the snout area, will quite easily identify rooks. Now, depending on where you are and depending on who you shoot for, and conduct your pest management service as far. There's sometimes some sentimental reasons why certain landowners don't want the rook controlling. These are part of COVID family. They will predate on other species. And they can cause significant crop damage. They also do quite a lot of good in the countryside by eating wireworms and leather jackets in fields. If the population gets too large, it will still cause damage to cereals and crops.
the feral pigeon. Commonly referred to as flying rats. And that's because the conditions they live in, the mess they make. They do live in squalor from time to time, and they're not the best kept of birds. But let's still show them some respect. If you know a little bit about history, you'll know that these birds played a vital role in World War II as carrier pigeons, sending messages across continent from UK to France. They do cause or pose a significant threat to human health in certain areas, so there is a vital need to control these. As I said before, treat them with respect and treat any of our quarry with respect. carrion crow. Probably the most challenging quarry we'll encounter on his adventures. As intelligent as a four or five year old child. They're really difficult to target. They're very wary. They have photographic memories which makes them hard to decoy. To target these birds successfully your tactics have to be absolutely nailed on. They are a large bird. They can be taken with headshots and on lung shots as long as you're a competent shooter using a suitable rifle at suitable power levels. Again, they very often keep their head still, so you will see me target them to art and lung. It's about quarry recognition, knowing the anatomy of your bird or the species you're targeting. As long as you have good quality equipment, you're confident and you have the competence levels required, you'll find these birds an amazing challenge.
as ever, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. And if you like to comment, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next installment.